Welcome! So in this tutorial I will show you how you can make an explosion effect like this. Yeah, okay, let's get started. I have uh, imported some sprites here to make an uh, animation. So I will uh, share this in the description if you like to download this or if you have a much better looking explosion animation you can use yours. But I will start with this. So I will create an empty game object. I'll drag each of this in here. I will rename this to explosion. Go to animation, great. Make a new folder here, animations, explosions. Okay, so press the record button here. Select this one, hit that, take next frame. I will click on this and hide this and I will go on like this show this hide this next frame show this hide this and so on okay so I will change this here to 25 and uh, we can look at it. I think this is fine. We can go to project, animations, explosions, and uh, deselect the loop type. Now we need a script for this. So, a new script, lifetime. Okay, in here. Make a public float life time equals point three, and on the start we say destroy uh, game object lifetime. So save and go back. Okay, we want to make this a prefab, so we can make two folders here. One named prefabs and one named scripts. Drag script here, open up prefab, drag this here, and delete this. Okay, so in sprites we can right click, create, sprites, square box right click create sprites circle okay so we want to have a ground create new game object ground and uh, add a box here and resize this add a box collider 2d Okay, ground is done, right click, create entity, we want the enemy, and drag this here, you can make this red, and reset, and like that, okay. And uh, we also want the bomb. So right click, create empty, reset, rename, bomb. Okay, so now we need to give this rigid box glider. Check if it's not here, so if we Reset this box and box. Yeah, 
now we have the box collider in the right place so we add a rigid body we can drag this down okay we'll select the bump make a oh we need a sprite add a sprite renderer and add your circle make this green and a circle collider 2d yeah that's right drag this down here and um, let's see we want the rigid body okay so now we have the bomb the enemy the ground we can make a script we call this bomb new script create and add so in here let's open this up in here we want the impact field so public float impact field I want some force public float force I want the layer mask public layer mask layer mask to hit and a public game object explosion prefab okay we don't need the start so I want the function explosion function so void explosion in here we want the collider array with the physics 2d overlap circle so let's start collider 2d we call this objects and uh, physics 2d dot overlap circle all there and the point is transform dot position then we want the radius so we can say impact field and then we want the layer mask so what did we call this lm to hit okay nice then we want the for each loop so for each collider 2d obj in object objects yeah say vector to direction order of obj transform position minus transform dot position and then we want to get the object's rigid body so obj dot get component rigid body 2d and we want to add some force there so add force in the direction times force then we can instantiate the explosion prefab at transform dot position and uh, transform dot rotation then we just destroy game object mm, I think this this is it if you want to see how the radius is we can make this like private void uh, on draw gizmo selected and we say gizmo's color equals color dot green and gizmos draw wire spree transform dot position and the impact field so i will show you in unity save this okay so back here in unity 
we will select the enemy. You will go up to layer here and add layer. You can call this whatever you want. I will call this enemies and then go select your enemy again. Layer, enemies, yes. Okay, so if you go to your bomb here, you can choose the layers that uh, the bomb will affect. So you choose enemies here. Then we have the explosion prefab. And um, in prefabs here, you can just drag this over here. And now the force. I don't know, maybe under 50 for now. Impact field. You can see on your scene view here how much you want it, you want it to blow up. And you can take oh, oh, three maybe. Okay, so when this is done, we can make some more enemies here. I just uh, select it and uh, press Ctrl D, or you can, or you can just select this and uh, right click, duplicate. So we can. Yeah, I think this is okay. One more thing we need to do is to go to your uh, script again and in the update we need to have the explosion here mm, and we want uh, to test this out so I will say if input dot get mouse button zero so this is the left mouse button And we want the explosion to happen. Yeah. Now we can test this out. Okay. Yeah. One more thing, I think. If you want your impact field, maybe four and uh, 250 here. I think the animation for the explosion was too small, so I go to the prefab, open it, say 3 and 3, okay. So try to maximize this this time. I think that's much better. So I think this is all you need to know. Thanks for watching. And I will see you again. Bye.